Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Land Rover Discovery. Then I'll take you for a ride in it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a 3 litre SD V6 HSE automatic. 2012 on a 62 plate. One owner from new. 61,933 miles. Fuel economy, urban, 28.8 miles per gallon. Extra urban, 34.9 miles per gallon and combined is 32.1 miles per gallon. Has a top speed of 112 miles per hour, out of a six cylinder, 255 brake horsepower, 24 valve engine. It's beginning to look a bit like the Discovery Channel on our website, um, but another beautiful example here Unusual colour as well, marmorous green, and it's got the Almond leather inside. So really good colour combination, a proper like British Land Rover colour combination. Multi-spoke alloys, the plastic wheel arch protectors, the silver vent grills, high pressure headlamp wash, silver grill, and the silver Land Rover badge. You may be able to hear a. a, a a whining and it, it's not me moaning about my gopros the time climate's come on somebody must have set it to uh, heat the the car up so I'll, I'll knock that off when we get in really windy today so i hope you can hear me okay front parking sensors car shod with goodyear wranglers all around they're all in good condition got power folding door mirrors keyless entry keyless lock keyless go so get out the car Press the button, that's it, it locks. Come back to the car and just uh, pull the handle. As long as you've got the key on your car will, will close and it, it, it'll open. If the key is still inside, it won't close, which is a, a good thing. Again, this hasn't got privacy glass. I think it looks better. Sill protectors, the mud flaps too. It has this split tailgate. Uh, the catch is just under here, under the number plate light. You're, Reversing cameras there too. As you can see, it's uh, kind of uh, shaped, or the, the tailgate is shaped. The, the idea of that is that when you lift the tailgate up, and you've got any shopping, you can just load it. It's lower to load on this side. And also when it's down like so, you can lean in further. This will hold two people as well. So nice and, <laughs> nice and well built as you'd expect from a, a Land Rover. It's got the six and seven seat in the back here and the rear roller blind cover, power sockets. Back seats just fold up nice and easy. The tow bar there, reversing sensors. Plenty of room in the back here. It's, uh, you've got the three sunroofs above the driver the passenger and the dogs or the kids who ever sat in the back there uh, three individual seats they all fold down and, and fold forward it's got a heavy duty rubber mats on so it's been well protected from new uh, nice and clean as well aluminium trims around the door handles it's got harman kardon speakers so uh, really nice sound system um, nice light and airy in the, in the back all looks like new. I think it's had seat covers on. Um, there's, there's one they must have forgotten to take off the armrest uh, on the driver's seat, so I assume it's been a full fitted set. So really, really good condition, the car. I'll just take you for a ride in it. That's the key. We'll uh, tuck that away safely in that little cubby hole there. Foot on the brake, switch on. That's it. Um, right, <laughs> first things today, this one's got a heated steering wheel and it's also got heated seats. So I'm going to put that on. The reason is it's, it's not particularly cold outside, but I'm trying to stop my GoPros from overheating. So I've got ice cold air blasting on the windscreen anyway we'll see how that goes today 
the service history for this car. 3rd of the 12th, 2013 at 10,032 miles. Ribblesdale Land Rover, 26 11, 2014 at 17,895 miles. Ribblesdale Land Rover, 21st of 10, 2015, 24,057 miles. Ribblesdale Land Rover, 26 of 9, 2016 at 29,885 miles. Ribblesdale Land Rover, 8th of 12, 2017 at 38,250 miles. Ribblesdale Land Rover, 3rd of 12, 2018 at 45,237 miles. James Spurgeon Land Rover, 19th of 11, 2019 at 50,278 miles. Ribblesdale Land Rover, and the cam belts were done then too. 23rd of 11, 2020 at 54,146 miles. Ribblesdale Land Rover, 15th of 11, 2021 at 59,933 miles. Ribblesdale Land Rover. So what did I say it done? I've forgotten already. 61,933 miles. Oh, well, fancy that. That's unbelievable, isn't it? Exactly 2,000 miles since uh, it was serviced. Okay, so we'll get going. Um, foot on the brake, into reverse there. It's the rotary gear selector, which I particularly like. You've got the reversing camera there. We have got a few discoveries in now. Um, I think we've got somebody coming across from Ireland to see one tomorrow. <clears throat> but we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see where he turns up. Great suspension. Great visibility, as you can see on this road. You see above everything. That's quite a hefty bumper. Just as we come out there, that's all good too. This car has got time climate. When I was videoing the outside, um, you could probably hear like a whistling, a whining, and there's a little heater under the bonnet, which uses a bit of the diesel, and you can program it to, if you go into extra features there, time climate, there you go. You can, uh, you can program it to uh, turn on and off. It's actually freezing in here now with the air con off. Oh God. The car was lovely and clean. It's, again, this is just as it's, it's come in. It does look like it's had seat covers on. And as I say, if, you, if I just put that armrest down there, there's, um, there's a nylon seat cover over there, which the, the previous owner must have forgotten to take off um, nice nice car lovely interior great color combination i think this is the almond interior let's just see we've also got electric memory seats just pull that back a bit try and get down there we go we've got lumbar support the little switches on the side here that's lumbar support and it's also got the the wing backs that that fold in these or, or that bit folds in to keep you in place lovely seats nice nice and thick and armchair like everything nice and easy in land rovers power folding door mirrors they fold in anyway when you lock the car up. Um, your three position memory seat here. I'll just try the, uh, I've changed the first one or I will change the first one so it goes straight back. So to program this in now, I'll just, uh, just do that again. Power folding door mirrors. There we go. So we'll click that to the right and I'm just going to change the, the mirrors there and the left one will change that. Um, here we go. Height and, electronic height and reach adjustable steering wheel. So I'll have it there. And then there's the memory button. Click one. Beeps on the dash and that's it. 
So we'll just try the others and, and keep an eye out on the steering wheel and the mirrors too, as well as me in the seat. There you go. You, you'll see them all changing. So it remembers the mirrors. Oops. The three's not gone very far. We'll get back to one. So that's it. So all the mirrors and the, the steering wheel change. I'm just going to knock that off for a minute because I'm freezing. <laughs> nice smooth acceleration. When you get to know the, the car, it's the same with every car really, but when you get to know the the way the car drives and you get you're familiar with the gearbox changes and, and so on you kind of the, the car's inertia or its momentum when you accelerate if you accelerate at a certain speed with the throttle depressed a certain way you can make it change gear so smoothly that you, you don't even know and after a while you find yourself doing it anyway because you as with anything, the more you the more you do, the better you get. And when I drive these Land Rovers now, I, it's such a play. I try and drive them better every time I get in them, on my way home and so on. And uh, just just you know just kind of here and you you just get you just get used to the vehicles. But the 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 weight of the car, you get to a certain speed and you just let your foot off slightly and it will change gear and uh, keep going not slow down or anything and it's such a great gearbox and engine combination go on get out of the way mr pheasant there you go, get in. Here we go. I can press the gear selector down. I won't do it here because we're just going around a bend. <laughs> I don't want to video myself going into a dry stone wall. Ooh. He's a big lad. I don't want to be arguing with him. <laughs> it's, his arms are bigger than my legs. Right, so just click down over to sport. There you go, and it already accelerates. I'm gonna let this chap go past because I think he's in a hurry. <laughs> he looks like, uh, I'm just trying to think who he looks like. <laughs> he looks like a, a big, very big ball bloke. Here we go, I'm gonna let him go past. not arguing with him that's for sure <laughs> can do what he wants there you go so that's in sport you can change down with the, the paddles here or command <laughs> there we go but I'm going to put it back into just into D because it there's no need to do anything else the drive's so good It's got uh, sat nav. I'll just switch the nav on. Got to agree. I'm not going to be distracted. It's got the uh, tow bar at the back. The six and seven seats. Very very good service history. And uh, on the way up here, it drives fantastic. It was clean yesterday, only been washed and tyre slicked. Nothing else apart from that, just as it's come in. When Lance has finished with it, uh, it'll look like a new one. 
and uh, but we've, we've had this kind of frost overnight and it's that Sahara desert frost where when it when it goes the car's covered in sand and um, it really really is covered in it so it's a lovely marmorous green it's a lovely uh, shade lots of metallic in it when the sun was on it before hopefully it'll still look you know you, you'll still get a good impression of it but not as good as if it had been um, well if Lance had uh, done his three stage buffs and then waxed it'd be gleaming and, uh, I've been uh, playing with my camera settings over the weekend and I've got to say when I was looking through the viewfinder at the interior it didn't make the interior look very nice so uh, if it doesn't if it doesn't look proper on the video it looked very grey but it, it was kind of in the shadow on overcast where we were but if it didn't uh, if it doesn't look that good on the video the walk round I'll cut some still photos in to give you a better idea because it is very very nice got heated front screen and the buttons for there for the heated front screen are there and that's your heated seats your heated steering wheel is just underneath the telephone controls at the back there just click it forward cruise control on the left hand side if I click that no messing about one button it's on it's set Whatever speed you're doing, you just click it and, and that's it. It'll uh, take over. Nice, clear dashboard display. Just going to put that steering wheel up a little bit, actually, because just cutting off the rev counter. Rev counter on the left there. In the centre, you've got your information display. And on the right, you have your speedo. If I click in the centre here, that brings up the menu, show warnings, vehicle setup, trip computer, see, display settings, into vehicle setup, and then click sideways, it shows you the arrow. And it's got there speed warning, alarm sensors, reverse dip mirror. Well, I'm going to put that on. When you go in reverse, it dips the mirror so you can see. Well, I'm assuming for parallel parking so that you don't scuff your alloys. And then you've got your drive away lock in, two stage unlocking, headlamp delay. It's, uh, it's supposed to be nice weather today, no, uh, no rain. But I got caught when I was videoing the outside and it's just started again. Oh dear, somebody's taken that corner too fast and we're very lucky not to end up in the creek. They obviously run out of talent there. But, uh, they're driving like that, I wouldn't be surprised if we don't find them in a ditch further up. Because this isn't the place. Unless you're Roger Clark. No, that none of you lot watching all know who Roger Clark was. Well, Tony Pond. I think Tony Pond. He used to drive for Opel, who I used to sell cars for. And then he moved on to British Leyland. I think he drove a TR8 at one stage in the in the RAC rally. Yeah, awful. The weather's turned a bit, uh, a bit nasty now. A 
I would like either the screen could do with the clean or it could do with new wipers but they they are wiping they are clearing the screen they're just a bit noisy I know what he looked like bust a blood vessel from uh, oh crikey what was he in now In there. I can't remember what, what pop group he was in. It'll come to me. Old age. The uh, heated seats are red hot. I'm going to turn them down a little bit. I think there's a car behind me, otherwise I'd show you the hill descent. All your uh, terrain response controls are there. And also your suspension controls, you send the car up for off-road, and down for access height, and then just normal like so. Yeah, there, there is a car behind me, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull up here and I'll just show you the uh, so here we go, that's your suspension, actually I'll just put it in park, knock that back. There we go, that's normal height going up. And then we can take it off-road, off-road height selected. There we go. So all that's working fine. Just go down, back down to normal height. There we go, and then we're off. Indicators on the left, wipers on the right. There we come up to a little Bump that bridge there. Couldn't make it any more awkward. It goes right and then left and up and down at the same time. But no problem for the discovery. As I say, when you get used to them, you can put it into a corner and, and making corrections to your steering wheel before you've got around the corner just to allow for the the tires there we go just a lovely car to drive very very pleasant certain death corner two The, uh, I've got to say the air conditioning's icy cold. <laughs> it's cold outside, but the air con's even colder. coming the other way and 
that we just meet on a bend or just on a, a brow here. So I'm just going to hold on here for a minute. I could have sworn I saw one coming in the distance. And of course, where the house is there, there's a, a little cattle grid, and it's uh, you go through a yeah, there we go. We, you go through a fence. just a little bit wider road there. Yeah, you go through a fence here, so no point meeting in an oncoming vehicle there. And the, the more observant amongst you, will uh, see my uh, car air freshener. Now, uh, it, it, it was in my other car, and I've just been using this for a couple of days. Um, these car air fresheners, I've, I've got some that they're like in a little bottle, and I fill them with my aftershave, because I, I like my aftershave. I've been wearing it for like 40 years or so. Uh, however, they're, they're kind of only tiny, and these reed diffusers, they're, um, they, they do a, a Joe Malone reed diffuser, and I think they're about 65 quid. But these are from Aldi, and they're £3.50, and they smell just the same as the Joe Malone one. And they're so much better than the, the car air fresheners you get. I mean, they, they don't... They fit just in a cup holder perfectly. Uh, they don't spill unless you do something stupid. <laughs> uh, so uh, there you go, three pound fifty, probably cheaper than car air fresheners too. Here we go. Well, I, I can I can honestly say that if all these GoPros. I've actually used two extra GoPros today because the, the others have been switching off and doing all sorts of stuff, including this new one, which only lasted five minutes the other day. But I've, it's, it's not particularly nice. Well, it's not sunny, so there's no sun on the screen. And I've had the air conditioning. I'm trying to keep them all cool. So I, I'm freezing to death, but my cameras have stayed on. So that's, uh, that's a good sign. Lovely car. Great service history. Great color combination. One owner. Where do you find them like this? Um, form an orderly queue and uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.